Well, isn't that the cutest you've ever seen? This is the Axial SCX24A Micro Rock Crawler. Being a 24 scale truck, in this case a Chevrolet C10, it's absolutely tiny. It only weighs in at 235 grams and here's its size compared to a can of Coke. It's tiny. Now there are a lot of micro crawlers out there, it's a very popular category and some of them have some more detail to the body than this one. Others have less, this is a decent in between for the price point I think. It's somewhat detailed with the sticker behind the grille and the officially licensed Chevrolet logos. The tires are officially licensed as are the wheels and it kind of looks like a real car if you film from low enough and zoom in enough. Um, they even put some advertising on the rear window for you. Now the bed doesn't have any bed liner and it does have this square plate but that's just to hold the battery in place. You can't really put a camera on there because the truck weighs 235 grams and your camera is likely a little bit heavier than that. Looking at the drivetrain it uses a worm gear front and rear which means that you don't really need a brake because a worm gear can't spin the normal gear um, but it does work the other way around so if you let off the throttle it acts as a brake and the wheels just lock up. Taking the body off pretty simple two clips in the front and then it hinges towards the back. I would have actually preferred if the LEDs were part of the shell and it would hinge to the front instead of to the rear that would have been a lot easier. The receiver and ESC are one unit so you're not really going to be uh, modifying anything here it just has this tiny little switch to turn the little truck on and off. As you can see also it has steel chassis rails, but most of these things are all plastic. The remote also plastic, of course. It weighs in at 314 grams, so very light, pretty comfortable, even with smaller hands, or if you just want to do a one-handed driving, this remote is actually not that bad. Flipping open the lid on the remote, you can turn your remote on. There's a bind button there. There's a little trim for your steering along with low, medium, and high throttle response, so that is all fine. Here's a little servo doing a little dance. And yeah, it's a very torquey setup for a vehicle that weighs 235 grams. So the driving is pretty fun. Now, as I'm showing the size and cuteness of it all, here is the drivetrain doing its thing. You can see it's a fully locked 4x4 setup. No limited slip diffs or open diffs here. Everything's locked because it's a rock crawler. And for those interested in the battery, well, there it is. The tiniest battery I've seen in my life. Although there are probably smaller ones out there. And small batteries need small chargers, so here you go, it's about a third the size of a credit card. The true beauty of such a tiny little truck, of course, is that you can use it just about anywhere. I went to my attic, took some rubbish that was left over from, well, renovating this house, and I made a little crawler course. And it's very easy to experiment with, you don't really need to glue anything together or hammer anything together because, well, the truck doesn't really weigh anything. So it's very quick and easy to just build fun little obstacle courses and entertain yourself for a couple of hours if you're easily entertained like I am. Building these tiny little obstacle courses is great fun and you can modify them as you go along. As you can see in this beautiful footage, the suspension is very active. I'm trying to keep the speeds low to make it seem as realistic as possible, but the car doesn't really go much more than like, I don't know, one meter a second. Um, but as you can see with all this movement in the suspension, especially the front tires do tend to hit the bodywork a little bit. Now I'm guessing because this is a Chevrolet licensed body, they couldn't really trim the wheel arches. Uh, if you look at the deadbolt for example, that thing has massive wheel arches, arches, so there won't be any movement there. But with this little guy, you do rub the front tires on the bodywork quite a bit. When it comes to steering accuracy and throttle response, it's fairly good actually for something at this price point. I mean, this car was like 130 euros and it's very easy to control going very slowly over these steep climbs, steep descents as well, because you don't want to lock up your wheels because then you just go sliding and crashing down. Um, but when you need a little bit more power just to brute force yourself up a rock or a tiny little pebble in this case, it can do it and it's again great fun now of course with a micro crawler you can do messing around indoors on your attic or on your desk even crawl your keyboard 
But of course you can also take it outside. Now it's not waterproof or weatherproof, but if you're being somewhat smart about things, you can probably get away with it. Driving the SCX24 outside was a little bit different because it really takes the correct size obstacle to make the driving experience fun and somewhat realistic. And real life trails are usually a bit too rough, a bit too big in its features for a car of this size. I mean, it's 21 centimeters long for crying out loud. And um, if you find the right sort of obstacles, it is great fun. Uh, people will kind of look at you in a weird way but the joy of something this small, this cute, this tiny is you can easily put it in your backpack, get somewhere really remote or just take it with you on your hike or bike ride because, well, the total package is under 600 grams, that's three phones. So um, it's something you can pretty much always take with you if you plan for it in advance and have some fun with while you're taking a break from doing some other thing you're having fun with. In the end then, I think this was one of my better purchases this year, although it's only February, and um, I'm very happy with it. I have had one buddy try it out as well, he seemed to really enjoy it, tried to make some videos so more buddies buy it, because I think it's really fun when you can actually get together with a few friends and try to get over a branch or a little pebble. Anyway, that was it for me today. Thank you for watching my video on the Axial SCX24. If you want to see more remote control car stuff, let me know in the comments because I really haven't done anything remote control ever since I was like 12 years old and I got this way oversized overpowered um, HPI Savage 4.6 I guess it was, which I broke all the time. This one, haven't broken it yet and it's taken quite a few um, quite a few falls so um, yeah really happy with my purchase I think if you buy one using the link in the description below you'll find it really good fun as well again thank you very much for watching I'll see you guys in the next one